a Russian hunter seeking refuge in a cave comes face to face with a bizarre creature. He is left nearly blinded and fighting for his life. In 1993, the magazine Gentry told the strange story of a hunter and his horrifying encounter with an unidentified creature in 1968. It began when the hunter was found unconscious outside a village in Primorsky Kray region in Russia. He was brought into the village by some local men and the doctors immediately got to work treating his wounds, which included some deep lacerations on both his face and his hands. Also, two of his fingers were missing, as was one of his eyes. His clothes were also torn to shreds. It was clear that he had been attacked by an animal of some type. Eventually, the medical staff determined that they were not equipped to deal with his type of injuries, so he was airlifted by helicopter to a hospital in Vladivostok. Sometime later, while recovering, the witness decided to open up to the medical staff about what had happened to him. The story he related was absolutely terrifying, an encounter with a creature straight out of a nightmare. According to the witness, he had been out hunting in an isolated, thickly wooded area in northern Siberia. At some point, he had come up to a ridge and determined that, because it was getting dark quickly, it was probably best he set up camp for the evening. He wandered around the area, looking for the best place to bed down, and noticed a small cave tucked in behind a large rock. Given that it was quite cold and windy, he determined that the cave was his best option. Chilled and desperate to get warm, the first thing he intended on doing was gathering up some wood to get a small fire going once inside the cave. The cave entrance was narrow, so narrow in fact, that he could barely squeeze through the opening. He lit a torch and looked around. The cave was surprisingly long and narrow, but suddenly expanded by three meters as he found himself in a sort of hall five meters wide. The light from his torch only went so far, and he had no interest in going any further into the darkened cave. Retreating back to the mouth of the cave, he began setting up his camp. Leaving behind his gun and his small backpack, he headed back outside to gather enough twigs and brushwood to get him through the long night. He went back into the cave and immediately got to work building the fire. He spent some time sitting by it, warming up, before heading back out into the darkened wood to do a little exploring. Upon returning to the fire, the witness soon realized that he was not the only one taking refuge in the cave. He definitely heard something moving around inside. The sound got louder, and he quickly realized that whatever it was was big, and it was coming towards him. He instantly became frightened. He ran for his rifle, but before he could reach it, he heard a loud, shrilling scream, and then turned to see something gliding from out of the darkness directly at him. It savagely attacked him, tearing at his face and hands with its long claws. They were close enough to the fire that the witness was able to get a good look at his attacker, and he could not believe what he was seeing. Despite being a hunter all of his life, this creature was unlike anything he had ever seen before in the wild. He described it as a dark, man-like creature with huge wings. He guessed the wingspan at about six and a half feet. It had a seemingly normal human head, though it was entirely covered with hair, except the face similar to a capuchin monkey. 
He also noted that it had huge eyes. There was no discernible mouth or nose that he could see. He likened it to a mix of part man, part bat, or a man bat. Severely wounded, the hunter collapsed onto the ground. At this point, the strange creature jumped away, eventually slipping out of the small crevice of the cave into the night. The hunter observed that when it jumped away, he could see the creature had no legs. The body was short and forked below. After the creature left, the injured hunter did his best to treat his wounds. Using some alcohol and bandages that he carried with him in his backpack, he managed to wrap his wounds as best he could. Sadly, his injuries were quite severe, including his eye and one of his hands, and he could not stop the bleeding. He wanted to go for help, but was too afraid to leave the cave, fearing the strange creature would be waiting outside for him in the darkness. He remained by the fire, clutching his rifle. About an hour later, the hunter heard a noise at the entrance of the cave. He assumed that it was returning to finish him off. Without hesitation, he pointed his weapon at the opening of the cave and fired. He heard a shrill cry, followed by the frantic flapping of wings. The witness remained by the fire for the rest of the night, gun in hand. The creature never returned. When dawn broke, the hunter left the cave. He looked around and he didn't see any sign of the creature. He ended up heading in the direction uh, where he knew there was a, a village close by. Uh, just outside the village he apparently uh, collapsed, uh, became unconscious, and he was later found by a group of hunters who took him to a medical facility in the, in the village. I found this case interesting because People are encountering strange winged creatures all over the world, though nobody really knows where they are coming from and where they are going after these brief sightings. Some people speculate that they are coming from the oceans, and some people believe that they are being dropped off by the visitors from beyond the stars, while others suspect they are slipping through unseen dimensional doorways. This case might actually help to provide an answer to these questions. I wonder how many other similar creatures are hiding out in caves and isolated areas of the world's forests and deserts. Might they be responsible for some of the people who have gone missing over the years? I have to wonder how many other hikers and hunters and, and uh, campers uh, sought refuge in a cave and uh, ended up coming face to face with something straight out of their nightmares. How many of them uh, didn't live to tell their story? <laughs>